arriving and we're going to the Arctic. It's time. That's how a lady starts her holiday. Jeans and the trunk, please. Soon after leaving our home, we reached the small town of Hollywood. That's Hollywood with one L and this one doesn't have a walk of fame. It is, however, the hometown of the very famous golfer Roy McElroy. He still comes here quite a lot to play in his home club. They're very proud of him around here. And we're here at Belfast City Airport. But oh no, that's right, that would be too easy. Let's go all the way down to Dublin instead, because that's the kind of travellers we are. We don't like it easy, do we, Nigel? Hell no. the town of Newry, the last town before the border to the Republic of Ireland. There's no visible border, you just kind of know because the road signs change from miles to kilometers. And yep, before you know it, you're down south. That was good pronunciation of me, wasn't it? No. It was a awesome. That was prime Northern Irish. Yep, that was the sign for the border and I hope you appreciate it there. Signs are now in Gaelic as well and I still think that was pretty good pronunciation there. I was actually quite proud of that. So, I don't know what your problem is now, John, uh, really. Okay. <laughs> so what was your hobby? Time to get the sunnies on. I think this is my first time ever in a fast food restaurant with Nigel outside the States. In and out burger in the States, but he wouldn't usually be seen in Burger King or McDonald's. Was it Max in Sweden? Max in Sweden. Okay, but that's different. Mm. Enjoy. Thank you. Snowy but quite mild and Oslo Airport so swanky as ever. Nigel really wants to go on that airplane slide over there. Product placement. Hold on, hold on. It's not focusing, it has Norwegian formula on it. <laughs>
Now, please excuse the blurry and shaky footage, but at this point I had to turn the camera off because it was getting rather rocky. As you can see here, we're uncomfortably close to a very large mountain. So instead of continuing to film, I chose to wet my pants instead. But the closer we got to Glorious Tromsø, the less turbulent it got. And I will now let you enjoy the footage of this truly unforgettable landing in the Arctic. Which was probably the most amazing thing we had ever seen in all of our travels. different all kinds of emotions running through us right now. Yeah, a few things <laughs> running out of us. <laughs> it was the hell of a landing as you will see in the footage but it was a hell of a landing in more than more ways than one. Uh, yeah it was very cool apart from one point we thought we were gonna die. Found somewhere to eat. Now she is a little bit hungry, and we're now at Igun, and it's so cute, so cute. What kind of food is it, Nigel? More like Everything. American kind of. Italian, American. Everything. Tex-Mex. There's a big cock here. There's one sunny face in there. So Nigel, do you think that's gonna feed us? I think we're, we should manage. It's about ten times the size of your head. Put your head beside it, Nigel. Harold arriving at Trobzu. It's one of the perfect group of feet. The reason why we got especially excited to check out the ship was because two days later we would embark on our very own Hertigruten adventure on an even fancier ship. So if you are maybe planning something similar or you're just interested in seeing how it went for us, you can come back and check out part four of our Arctic adventure where we tell you all about our very first journey on a Hurtig Wigan ship. But now it was off to bed for us because two days in sunny Tromsø were ahead of us. And of course you can see how those were spent in part two and three. See you then. Thank you.